action. Oh, what a good nap. Oh, hello. You just caught me at a time of resting. Uh, where is Chuck? Oh, Chuck, you got up before me. For once. Hello, I'm Ferret Smith. This is my sidekick, Chuck. Welcome to the incredible adventures of Ferret Smith. A lot of you young whippersnappers are playing a game called Minecraft, where you survive in the wilderness. Well, me and my friend Chuck are going to show you how to survive in the real wilderness. We'll talk about survival skills such as fire building, shelter building, and communicating with animals. Yes, Chuck. Like you. It's really important that you find a isolated point in nature, hundreds upon hundreds of miles away from any type of human civilization. This is in the very heart of nature is where you find the most beautiful and most serene places. sun goes down. It's looking like a real whopper. <laughs> Chuck has just finished drawing up the blueprints for our shelter. In a mere 10 minutes with the most scarcest tools, just his ingenuity and this wee pocket knife, we've been able to construct this structure right here. And our aim is to complete it in three hours where that is when the sun will be going down. And we must I didn't. No. <laughs> well, about three hours, you'll have a fine established shelter here. Uh, you want to make sure you have a good solid foundation here, and it should take you, as I said, about three hours. You want to make sure you find all of the seams and seal them up as tight as possible. Uh, but just something very simplistic like this is uh, will do nicely for the winter. My woodland friend here reminded me that it's always important to uh, install some type of lucky charm for your house. So here we go. We're gonna put it right here. Thank you, Chuck. <laughs> that ought to do it. That's enough firewood for one night, maybe two if you're being stingy. All right, that's, that's plenty of good. Chuck, I know. I know, Chuck. I was most about to tell them. Chuck says it's very important that you stack in such a manner that which is accessible, easily accessible at night. Yes, I know, Chuck. Stop yelling at me. You're not my mother. I've got the wood, Chuck. We gotta start this fire. Hand me the fire starter. Hand me the fire starter, Chuck. Chuck, this is no time for games. All right, right now you gotta build a fire. Uh, I have had a waste a little bit of time making some benches, but I just really like to be comfortable when I have my fire. So all you gotta do is take your fire starter and give it a good swift strike. Thusly. Thusly. You gotta stand back because sometimes I light them so well, they just explode in my face. So I'm going to be very careful. Careful, Chuck. I don't want to see your little whiskers singed. Oh, hi. 
I didn't notice you there. I was just building my latrine. It's important that all of you have a very good <laughs> latrine for your water system. You don't want your poop messing up the environment. Remember that, children. Who's your friend here, Chuck? Yogi? Oh, yes. Yogi, I, uh, I do require to uh, the access of your skin. Yes, yes, I would like to have uh, your nice, lovely fur. Oh, oh no, I, I'm complimenting it. I think it's a fine fur. Uh, so what do you say? I'll give you some honey for that fur. Hmm? Yes, yes, that's the finest honey in the land. Agreed. I will have your fur, and you will have honey. And you, you can have some honey too, Chuck, don't worry. There's plenty for both. This very fine pelt will do wonders for my living room floor. I cannot wait to see it there. <laughs> Damn you, Chuck! <laughs> this look like and that is our target three hours in the sun sets until then uh comrades <laughs> <laughs> this is my friend chuck we are hello <laughs> <laughs> 